I'm Tristan Taylor and uh, one of my favourite techniques is actually the uh, brim cranking with a, a crankbait. This little guy here is the Atomic Hards uh, 38 in the Deep Diver and this is Muddy Prawn, one of my favourite colours. I've tricked it up a little bit by putting a little sticky weight just on the front there, just so I get a little bit more weight in the cast so I can cast further and also when I do twitch and pause it, it'll actually sit and suspend at that, um, at that depth of water. It's a really great lure because it's so versatile, you can use it in so many places. Um, I like to use it in shallow water, in rocky and reefy areas, over the top of weed banks, wherever that might be. Um, you can even get it down to you know, one to two metres and even fish it in three or four metres of water because the fish will see that and come up for it. It's also really great against um, bridge pylons, rock walls, in the canals against pontoons. It's just one of those techniques that you can really call on in a lot of situations. You can just put the crank on, really simple. You cast it out, just slow roll it back. Yellowfin brim will take that most times. If they do miss it the first time, you'll get that hit, you'll feel that, and uh, you just keep rolling and usually, bam, they'll come crunching back for it. With the black brim, I find you probably do need to mix it up a little bit. Pauses, twitches, jerks, um, really seem to be order of the day when you're down south. And um, often you do just need to see what they're, what they're favouring on the day. Some days I like it really erratic and violent. Other days, you know, you might just need to be very subtle with your little, little jerks. Um, but don't be afraid to pause it. If you've got this little weight on it, that'll, uh, that'll pause it there and suspend it. Sometimes they'll, um, they'll take it after 10 seconds of pausing. So uh, don't be afraid to just stop it dead in the water and let it sit there, let the fish have a good look at it, have a bit of a think about whether they want to eat it or not. Nothing more frustrating than getting it right beside your feet and lifting it out of the water and you've got that fish following it the whole way back to the boat. So uh, yeah, mix up the retrieve, see what they're liking on the day and, uh, and keep the crankbait in the uh, back of your mind whenever you're out fishing. So when I'm using the crank, I find that uh, it's a pretty versatile and fairly easy technique. I just like to make a long cast, get it out as far from you as possible. And um, depending on where you're fishing, I probably generally prefer just a slow to medium roll. Without any twitches or anything, I find that works pretty good for the yellowfin brim. And if you do get a hit, you just keep rolling and, uh, and usually the brim will follow it and come back for it. I also like to mix it up a little bit when I'm fishing down south for black brim and put a little bit of a twitch of paws in it. And that seems to be key when you're going for a black brim. They, uh, they do really like a little bit of variation in the retrieve. So again, I'll try and cast always as far as I can with the wind if possible. This time I'll crank it down just to get it to its running depth, down about a metre. And I'll actually then start just twitching the rod tip and then just pausing it for maybe a second or so. With the crank it'll float, so I don't want to pause it for too long, otherwise it does float up. But I do like to just make it a little bit erratic, so when it's sitting down there at about that metre, it's going to uh, just jerk around, pause. Sometimes it'll actually double back on itself and, and almost stare the fish um, in the face and almost tease it to eat it. And sometimes you just need to mix up that, that twitch, maybe a little bit more subtle some days. Other days I want it super aggressive and you, you do need to just really, really work it very violently. And with the black brim, I often find you will get them on the pause, so don't be afraid to leave it sit there for a few seconds at a time. Mm -hmm.